I switching to the title card. Oh, we're starting. Um, hey, hello, YouTubes. And, uh, okay. Go Okay, yeah, that was unnecessary, but thank you. <laughs> Let's get back to it, then. Why was it unnecessary? I don't know, man. So we have a giant clock here. Doesn't look like I can control it from here. <clears throat> so it's peripheral clock moves the the main big clock. So the beast is awaiting a chime. Key in hand and blood inside. I assume the beast has the key. It opens its mouth to swallow light. So we have to feed the beast light. So first. First. Uh, proud king, monarch of beasts, which is clearly Leo. Right? And it's in blue for some reason. I Second. think it said that only the red parts are uh, are what matter in the book. Did it? Okay, second. Yeah. Is the doppelganger the under the moon? Doppelganger under the moon. Gemini. Gemini. I don't understand the under the moon part. Maybe it's got to be the moon. The third clock? Yeah, the one with the moon and the sun. Fourth is the killer that hides within man. Cancer? Oh yeah, that's pretty good. That's very clever. Alright, Cancer. This is the horn of the innocent demons. This is the man eternal forever. So the man. Ninth is the judgment, the weight of a soul. So that's uh, the Libra. Scales. Libra. Tenth is the Ingibus born of a witch. Mm. I'm just writing the whole check thing down for that until I know it is. Twelfth is the coming of the desert lord. Oh, Scorpio. Yeah. So that's five. Wait, that's five, not four. I thought I just wanted four. A beast devouring four stars. Why did you think One the red ones were the only ones that mattered? In the book before. Didn't say something like this. <clears throat> where the clock, uh, where the clock was, uh, with the book of the zodiacs. Right, but why the red ones? Why do you think the red ones? I matter? didn't didn't see something about the red ones. I'm gonna, I'm checking it now, but. And anyway, it's five uh, verses. One of them is the beast that eats the other. That's, mm, that's stretching it month. I don't know. And all this book is is an explanation of the... Uh, actually, no. Let me go through that again because we have two that we're not sure of. Um, Virgo the Maiden. No. Cancer the Crab. Gemini the Twins. Taurus the Bull. Incubus Born of a Witch. Aries the ram, Pisces the fish, Aquarius the water bear, Capricorn the goat, Sagittarius the archer, Capricorn the goat, maybe? No, that's not an incubus and that's not born of a witch. What the hell is the incubus born of a witch? Mm, like, I'm, I'm be. vaguely familiar with zodiac symbols and I don't remember anything like that. Virgo may be. Let me take another look at that. I got, I got an idea. 
Wait, Incubus is male. Incubus is male. Incubus is male. Male symbol. The the male symbol is the seal from Mars, which Zodiac is Mars. Hang on. <coughs> I, I don't even know why I looked at that. I'm sorry. Hang on. <laughs> Born of a witch. Cancer Gemini. Taurus the bull. Has horns like an incubus, but then so does Aries, a ram. And Capricorn, the sea goat. Sorry, my wife's a Capricorn. And she, she pleasantly calls it a sea goat, and I kind of love it. I got nothing, but I do have an idea. I just don't know how effective it would be. Try everything? Well, I mean, yeah, like the song goes. I saw Zootopia, too. Try everything. But no, uh, I'm thinking the blue ones are for the moon, and the red ones are for the sun. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. So, let me, let me start this again. This. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. Okay, so okay. proud king of monarch or beast. The first one is blue and is Leo. The second one is red and is Gemini. The third one is the bowman, which is Sagittarius. Okay. Uh, darn it. Sagittarius is the archer, right? Okay. Fourth one is red. And is the killer that hides within man, which is cancer. Which I think is actually really clever. Fifth one is blue. And it is the horn of an innocent demon. Aries? No. I'm just going to write the whole thing down. Horn. Aries or Tauri? Innocent demon. Okay. Sixth one. Virgo? Is the maiden. And yeah, you're right. Eternal and forever. Virgo. Uh, click. Seven one is the chaser of all things red, which is Taurus. And is. That's blue. Taurus, yeah. Eighth one is also blue, and it is the pawn under the darkened tide. Uh, Pisces. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, ninth one is red, and is the judgment, the weight of soul. So that's Libra. Libra. Tenth one is red. And is the Incubus born of a witch? Okay, 11th one is blue and is the flowering of Earth's lament. No idea. <laughs> Finally, 12th is red and is the coming of the Scorpio. And I think what we have to do is we have to switch, like count one at a time through the clock. I don't know why that will affect the stars yet, but let's try one and see what happens. Oh, that's this door, and I can't reach it. Okay. Well, maybe that will come up for later. Is that you? Yeah. 
freaking me out, Mom. My thumb hurts, and I and I pounded a little so it will stop hurting. Okay. Let's figure out the the, the remaining um, zodiacs first. So, yeah, uh, that's why I'm uh, here. You can kind of take a look at this. Uh, Virgo is an M with a little thing here. Leo, the lion, Leo, lion. Looks like a lion with a tail. Uh, Cancer, the crab, hat looks kind of like. Okay, I forgot that that's what Cancer looks like. 69! Mm. People got the idea. Gemini is basically <clears throat> number two. Gemini was number two as well, which is cool. Uh, Taurus is a bull, which, why wouldn't it look like a bull? And let's see. Aries the Ram. I don't know. All right, Pisces the fish is number eight. Oh, the the thing for, that flows from the earth is Aquarius. The what is Aquarius? There is a verse the the lament that flows from the earth. Oh yeah, it would be water. Yeah, that's right. It's Aquarius. Okay. Aquarius. It's the dawning of that age. Actually, we're, aren't we in the age of Aquarius now? I think we are. I think. I think. Capricorn the goat. Sagittarius the archer, which we figured out was number three. We were in Pisces, so yes, we're in Aquarius now. Yeah, this is when everything was supposed to change, according to the hippies. What happened, hippies? Where, Where's the change? Uh, and, and we're going to die soon, don't you know that? we got about 100 more years, yeah. No, I think we have... Uh, about 20 years maximum. Well, that's when about half the population will die, sure. But no, I think the rest... I think humanity is going to linger a lot longer than that. I think about 100 years. So we got Horns mm. of a Demon and Incubus Born of a Witch. Now, what's interesting horns. is the only two I haven't gotten here is Aries and Capricorn. Horns of a Demon must be the Capricorn. But why is Aries Born of a Witch? Because he's a god of war? Why is either of these? I think the ram has horns of a demon. Because I don't think... Well, goats... Incubus are demons. This could go either way. This is bullshit. Yeah. I'm going to say Horns of a Demon, Ram, Ares. Horns of a Demon, Capricorn. Oh, well, your game. Yeah, your I, choice. I'll, I'll, tr I'll try this, but... And I'll put a big question mark next to it. And Born of a Witch, because I've heard of goat worship and witches, so I'll, I'll just put Cap Cappy here. Sea uh, Goat. Whatever it is, it's ready. And there we go. Okay. Uh, let's underline the red ones. So there were about uh, 500 million, million bees found dead. Uh, yeah, it's uh, they've, it, they've long since figured out what's killing them. And it is... Uh, we have no incentive to save them because corporations suck. Yep. Okay, so number one, Leo. So this clock needs to be set to Leo. Leopold. Uh, the next clock needs to be set to one. And the third clock has to be set on oh. day. Hey, we've got some action. Cool. 
So the next one is number two, Gemini, and needs to be set today, as you said. Gemini is this one. Gemini. Gem. Gemini's excitement. Ooh, Gem. Gem is adventure. Glamour and glitter, fashion and fame. Ooh, Jam is truly outrageous, truly, 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 truly outrageous. Oh, Jam, oh, the rhythm's contagious, outrageous. <coughs> We're old. Uh, I prefer to call it uh, time lapse, uh, time lapsed, challenged. Okay, something's wrong. We're missing something. Although Leo worked. I think that was the first star. Why is Leo one of the stars? We're still missing something. The moon bleeds. Maybe red is for the moon. Maybe. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, you should be. Wow, what was that? <laughs> Hiccup. Okay, um... I'm missing something. Is it fed? All stars are dead. The key is yours to keep. The moon is crying tears of blood in this picture with four stars. But the first one worked, right? Yeah, and it was uh, set in uh, the moon. No, it was set to the sun when it worked. And no, I don't know why that that is. Sure. Okay, is this set to Gemini? Awesome. This is the wrong room. This is one hell of a puzzle. Yeah, it's set to Gemini, which is number two. What's the puzzle again? Well, the puzzle is we don't actually know what we're doing. No, I mean the riddle. Oh, good lord. I'd have to go back. Hang on. We might have made an error. He, he wants four stars. We fed him one, which was Leo. And now we're trying to figure out what the other stars are. Okay, so. Dancing around the circle of time, the beast awaits with deathly chime. That just means he's a clock. That's the stairs. Okay. With key in hand and blood in sight, it opens mouth to swallow light. And then it gives the whole thing that we've already figured out is a reference. I have already written this down. I'm not going to worry about it. The, the day the beast has fed and all, four, and all four stars are dead, the key is yours to keep. Now question, which one's the four stars? Leo is apparently one of them, but what makes him stand out? Or Leo was the beast. Oh. 
Gemini wouldn't be right then. The next one would be Cancer. That's a good point. Let's try that. That would mean that Cancer is the next beast to feed. Then like Taurus. And maybe Scorpio. <coughs> so, okay, let's try Cancer. Oh, wrong door. Ah, that's gonna get me every time. Okay, so let me take a look here. Cancer is 69. And Cancer is number four. And Cancer needs to be set to moon, which should already be set. No go. Don't know why. I would just go to the clock and fiddle with it. The the one with the sun moon. Maybe maybe the crab doesn't count as a beast. That's right, because he was the king of beasts. Okay, so maybe it's not the crab. So what is next as far as beasts go? Um, Taurus is a beast. Like bulls are beasts, right? In a, in a sense, yes. Let's try Taurus. Taurus is number seven. He's blue, which should mean sun for some reason. <laughs> Uh, he needs to be set to seven, and he's got one of the easiest to remember symbols. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I like Eric Idle's version of it. He's got a, oh. the, the best singing voice of it. Here comes the sun! <laughs> it was great. They nabbed him off stage before you could finish. Beautiful. Nope. No. Taurus isn't one of them. <clears throat> I don't get it. I don't know. Of, just for funsies, let's try Aries real quick. Aries is number five. Nope. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm missing here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go to the wall. The wall? Yeah, oh. the it gives a hint. Which which wall? Next to the first clock. The moon bleeds something. Oh, the moon bleeds red 1982. Oh, Oh, the next one is Libra. Okay, hang on. Libra is number nine, because the first one was number one. One, nine, eight, two. So the next one is Libra set to nine. With Libra is red. So Libra needs to be set to moon. And Mandra is still killing me. 
Yeah, Ma Ma Mandra can get in the mood. Okay. Moon, moon, moon. Moon, 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 moon. Moon, 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 moon. It, it sounds like you're crushing bones over there. I'm like just Jesus. taking my pills. Yep, boom! That's the right answer. 1982 is the answer. That's the four stars. So the next one is Pisces, which is blue. Number eight, Pisces. Don't know how I missed that. Super serious question. Uh, super serious answer. Uh, which Looney Tune was your favorite? New or old? Old. It's Bugs. Can't help it. I know it's kind of basic, but I like Bugs Bunny. I, uh... I was really appreciative of the fact that it was always brains over brawn with bugs. Okay, now Gemini is next. I need to go back in there. Uh, fix here. Uh, Gemini here. Fix it. I'm fixing it. <laughs> bugs Bunny, huh? Yeah, Bugs Bunny. New Looney Tunes, though? Bugs' is girlfriend. Lola. Lola. And not the basketball movie version. No, the crazy psycho Yandari version. I actually genuinely like her. I think she's funny. Um, why would you like Lola? Are you one of those uh, fair, fair, fair what something back here, guys? Well, yes, but only when Bugs Bunny dresses up as a woman. Not Lola. What are you, gay? <laughs> real, real macho men love Bugs Bunny when he's dressed in uh, as a as a cabernet dancer. Yeah, I'm more fun. There we go. That's it. There's the ringing bell. Ding dong. Ding dong. We're going on. 108 up. chimes. Oh, yeah. It's a little Buddhist joke there. A little Buddhist reference for you guys. All right. Let's see what's going on downstairs. There's a party involved downstairs. Oh, hell yeah. Pizza. Um, and you are the food. Once again, great boots. Great boots. Look at those. Look at those beautiful things. Amazing. Wow. Like I think a ochre key. key. Is there anything around here? Okay. Can, can I walk around the pillar? Abigail, please. Good goodbye, Abigail. <laughs> okay, so it's not much. It's very Western RPG boots. Yeah, that's probably why she bought them. 
Okay, the music with this is really neat. This is aesthetic. Oops, sorry. How to dress like a Western CRPG character. Right. right, time to save. Now we're actually nearing the end of this. I was told it was only like a two to three hour game and I can only guess that it's being three hours because I'm dumb. Spent a lot of time on that clock puzzle. Yeah, if you didn't know the, if you can't figure out the fucking uh, clue, yeah, it's a long puzzle. Okay, here we go. Ochre. Ochre is yellow. I don't know why. Uh, orange gem embedded into it. So what do we get? O okay. Okay. This is not my home. Right. Anything else around here? Okay, this is about as Silent Hill as it gets. No. Jump that's into the one hole. Big, that's one big rabbit hole. Yeah, well, can only go deeper. I wonder if, you, if Bugs is in there. I bet Alice is. Nah, Alice was found dead. Uh, she was high on drugs. Stay, leave. Well, I mean, obviously we want to leave. Also, what am I looking at? Are those tubs women people? Tubs look like women? And who's that guy there, the pervert? Let's find out. He's humping the pedestal? Hang on a second. Abigail, you gotta let me know. There's something written here. Leave. Should I stay or should I go? What does this one say? Stay. Okay, so yeah, it's just stay and leave. If I go, there will be trouble. It's just the statue. But if I stay, it will be double. I can't, I can't. If I stay, no, it's if I stay, there will be trouble. If I go, there will be double. Tomato, tomato. All right, let's talk to the uh, pervert. Cutscene. Our angel has come, clothed in kids' flesh, and... It's you! But you're not... Don't you dare walk out on me this time! Listen, you're the only other person I found, and I want some answers! How did you resist the holy touch? The gift that was to be yours? I don't know what you're talking about. Please, just tell me what's going on! Where the hell am I? Hell? <laughs> no, no, dear. This is our sacred kingdom. Our paradise. His mouth is weird. For now, at least. Paradise? It's not exactly harps and clouds, is it? Expectations deceive. I can attest to that. But how did you manage to get here? Didn't you want me to follow you? That was not the question. You shouldn't be here. So... How... Are you warded? Using some blasphemous shield to thwart our angel? Chainsmokers channeling G-Man. <laughs> like this? <laughs> She cannot seize her apostasy. Who? Your mother, of course. My mother? What do you know about her? I have seen her writings, too. She's here. Albeit not in the flesh. Meddling in matter is far beyond her right and light! Even saying this animation, Jennifer. Oh, not lesbian pin pal. 
She gave it to you, didn't she? Dash and Yoda. Can I have it? Good God, no. No. All right, all right. So be it. Wait, is that my doorknob? Did you steal it? Well... You brought me here, didn't you? You brought yourself here. I barely showed you the way. Then show me the way out! Now! Okay. Right through there, my dear. I will not be wondering if this ends with him throwing away his clothes. After all your effort to lead me here, you... You just let me go? You do not want to share in the sacredness here. You reject our holy lord. I have offered you a light. But if that is not your choice, your will, I'd much rather you do in your heretic ways abscond. Fine. I'm out of here. Don't forget what you came for. Okay, so this guy's hair is really neat. Yay, doorknob. Now I can let my cat out. That's what this is all about. It's about letting the cat out. It had nothing to do with like magical space adventures in uh, Silent Hill land. It's pure, pure letting the cat out. It's the handle to my front door. So her mother was a lesbian. Yeah, medallion. Yeah, lesbian pimp. Can't pimp. Have it. Yeah. No, no. But listen, you. Uh, sure. You. Of course. Must enter with the medallion first. Like this, like a lantern, to light the way. God, this guy's breath. Why is that important? <sighs> I know that locket. Remember, your mother wants you to stay. What do you feel that he's lying to her? You know it. You've to yourself. Her medallion's power is too close to your heart. Would no doubt keep you from leaving. You might be right. Good luck, and remember to live up to your name. What's her name? Miss Lazelot? Oh, hey! <laughs> Fun is happening. In which part of the game do we kill this guy? Uh, we're in chapter one, so later. That's not an answer, really. I like the music. Um, okay. The cat did it. Don't worry, Mom. I will find you. Okay, that had to have been a painting of her mother behind her when she stood up. So since she, since the amulet passed first, this he she was not protected by the pink and it uh, traveled with her. Probably. 
that's my guess is why she, he wanted her to put it in first so it would separate. I mean, this is an act one. Act one is we. This is just the crossing of the threshold of a situation. Like it's it's just an introduction, getting ready for everything, right? So okay, yeah. that's the game. It's over, bro. Oh, and now anyway. is the time when the lag sets into the stream. Awesome. Everything is awesome. So. So yeah, there wasn't any combat, and I don't mind. It was definitely about pure atmosphere, and um, and that kind of backwards ass puzzles. Why was the language so bizarre? I don't see non-Western <laughs> names. The guy making the French localization is Spanish. His name is Aaron Hernandez Martinez. There was one hell of a lot of testers. For just a small project like this, that's a lot of testers. Mateus Carneiro, Defender at Da Costa. Yeah, I'm picking up on a lot of Brazilian and some Mediterranean in here. Sacui. Anyway, it's almost seven o'clock here. I'm going to to bed. All right, man. You have a good night. I mean, morning. You have a good morning. Milach. Special thanks to those people oh. who shaped the survival horror genre and gave us inspiration to create Simulacrum, and not Simulacra like yesterday. And uh. <laughs> I I am going to buy Cyberpunk 2077. You should. Yeah, but I need a better PC. That's a problem. I need about 600 euros. That's more than I have right now. So, all right. Uh, let me go ahead and wrap it up for no, no, everybody I on YouTube. Need... Give me a second. I do... uh, we're yeah. going to say goodbye to everybody on YouTube and... Uh, wrap this up i think this is actually worth uh anybody who might be watching this video go ahead and buy this game because these people need to make chapter two immediately although from what the popularity seems to stem from this uh, i might actually be happening anyway so with that said uh goodbye everybody for now except for everybody on stream you stay in